Okay, so this is the video for developing a roll of black and white film in the dark room. So this would be carried out under safe lights, so the, the red lights. Um, the things that you will need is obviously your canister that's already got your roll of film in. You will need two of the larger measuring cylinders. And I've taken out all three chemicals, uh, purely so I can explain the importance of picking the right ones. So this one here is actually print developer. So that is for developing uh, photographs, actual pictures, rather than film. And quite often students will use this to develop a roll of film rather than the actual film developer. But it's really important it's film developer because if you use the other one, it will just destroy your work and you won't end up with any results. So I'm going to get rid of this one now. So, what you will do is you will fill this measuring cylinder up with hot water or warm wish water and you are after 20 degrees C. Now, 20 degrees C is really, really important. 19 degrees would possibly slow down the process and 21 degrees would speed it up. So really, really important it's at 20 degrees. Once you've got your water to 20 degrees, you would pour this out into another measuring cylinder and you would pour out 450 mils of water. Okay, so you've got 450 mils of 20 degrees C water. You would then add 50 mil of film developer. Once you've stirred this together, what you would then do is you would take off your cap, pour your liquid in, and then you would shut the lid. Now, really importantly, you have to apply pressure at the back and then snap the lid down, and this gives you a really good seal. You then need to agitate the chemicals. That basically means stir it. And the way that we do that is turning the pot upside down and turning it back. And we do that twice. Once you've done that, you tap it a couple of times on the desk and that will shoot air bubbles from the bottom of the pot all the way to the top. This again is really important because those air bubbles would stick to your film. So if you didn't do the tapping, the air bubbles would stay attached to the film and you'd end up with white dots onto your film, which then would mean your film's unusable. You do that for 10 minutes if you are using the school film, which is the Ilford Pan 400. Okay? And at the end of those 10 minutes, you would pour that chemical down the drain. However, if you've bought film yourself from a shop, your timings may be different and there's a list of timings on the back of the film developer pot. Alternatively though, they're also in the packets uh, with the film that you would have bought. So, the liquid has been in the pot for 10 minutes, we've poured it away and then we would do the same process with the fixer. However, this time the temperature isn't important, but again it's 450 mils of water and 50 mils of fixer. Pour this into the pot, again snap the lid shut and you would agitate the chemical again. Again remembering to tap on the surface to shoot the air bubbles to the surface. At the end of the six minutes, rather than pouring the chemical down the drain, what you would do is you would use it in the re pour it into the reuse bottle that is at the side and we would be able to reuse that fixer ready for paper development at a later stage. Then, all we then have to do is we can then take our film out of our pot and it, the images will be fixed onto the film and we put this in a water bath along with some washing up liquid and then that will wash the film and then we would take it off of the spiral and hang it up in the drying cupboard.